Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we started exploring the Chozo Ruins, and regaining some of our items that we lost. In this episode, we are, well, just gonna keep doing that, basically. Alright, so, now we are at sort of like a breaking point. There's two branching paths, but we want to go down this one in front of us first. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but it would be desirable. So, I'm gonna head down this hallway. Kill some more Shriek Bats. Ow. <laughs> okay, I think this is Brimstone right here. That doesn't say it, but if you shoot a missile at it, here's another missile expansion. So, there we go. Now we're at 15 total mix missiles, which is what we started the game with, so... Slowly but surely getting back to where we started. Just a lazy way, let them kill themselves. Once again, make sure you've scanned at least one of those blast doors, because there are only so many of those. So far we've scanned every... I double checked just to make sure, and we have scanned everything that we've needed to so far. So that's good. Like I said, I'll point out anything that you only have a few opportunities to uh, scan. But right now we're looking for these runes in this room. There are a total of four of them that we're looking for. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's another one. I'm just going to keep jumping in the water. Oh well, it'll be easier once we get a certain item. Which is like the best item in the game in my opinion. But for now we just need to regain the items that we already had. And lost. Watch out for these reaper vines or whatever they're called. They are kind of annoying. Okay. Jump up there, jump up there. Here's another one. Once you activate all of them, this door will open. I always forget where the fourth one is, though. Ah! Ow. <laughs> okay, I think- I want to say it's like over here somewhere. Is that it? Oh my god. There we go. I always forget the location of that one for some reason. I've played through this game I don't know how many times and yet somehow I still forget. Plus this is towards the beginning of the game. Oh well. It happens. I'm going the wrong way. Gotta go up. Gotta- oh my god. I'm really- Oh my god. I'm really glad that this water doesn't do a crap ton of damage, because otherwise I'd be dead right now. I can't kill these things. But now if we scan the door again, the game's been unlocked. And there we go. And here's another Chozo lore. There's that if you want to read it. And right here is the charge beam. Yet another item that we lost initially. Charge beam acquired. I have recently made that sound effect to my notification sound for when I get a text on my phone. <laughs> Anyways, brings these guys back to life, these Aeons, I believe they're called. But, with the Charge Beam, we can actually kill them. And as mentioned before, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. If you charge up the Charge Beam and you're near items, it'll drag items towards you. And, uh, like I said before, I just, clarif just to clarify... The Chozo lore never disappears, so if you're missing a Chozo lore, don't worry, they don't um, disappear after a while. The only the only things you really need to worry about there are creature entries. They disappear a lot, depending on the enemy. A dog over here is gnawing on the cage, which is nice to listen to. Stop! Stop! Or don't listen to me, that's fine. Ow. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
Yeah, forget it. Do what makes you happy. Ah! Almost jumped right into those. <laughs> Man, I'm I'm off my game today. I'm gonna go to the save room because I do not want to take another step without being healed. I'm not gonna save. I'm just gonna get healed. Because I feel pathetic at the moment. Shoot those things. Never blindly jump to a platform. You never know what's going to be there. Most, More often than not, there's going to be something like that. I almost jumped into that. Just... Cesspool City. I'm not this bad at the game, I swear. What's it called? The Let's Player's Curse or something like that? You're good at a game until you let's play it and then all of a sudden you suck. Yeah, I'm starting to get that right now. Kill the street bats before they see me. I am not gonna make this jump. Oh, oh, just barely. Eh, negative reinforcement, it helps, apparently. Don't even care anymore, I just want to get through here. There's a little area right here, I believe. Yeah, sandstone. Sandstone, we'll find very soon, is what is susceptible to bombs. So as soon as we regain those bombs, sandstone stuff got nothing on us. There's a lot of passages to go down in this room. But I'm pretty sure like most of them don't really lead anywhere. But yeah, this one just leads to poisonous water. And we all know how I feel about that at this point. Oh, hey. Can I... Uh, sweet. Cool. Lock to door. Uh, I'm not sure if lock to doors eventually disappear or not. I I want to say it is possible to make it a lock door appeared at any point in the game. There's like a certain thing later on. Oh, this dude looks dangerous, but he won't harm you unless you're in morph ball mode. Um, I want to say that there is a way to make sealed doors appear. And I remember lo when I looked up the website, um, I don't think they listed sealed doors as a eventually disappears thing. Oh, the music I love again. Although it doesn't have the cool intro this time. Anyways, time for another boss. This is the Incinerator Drone. Programmed for high temperature waste disposal. Device schematics indicate high risk of malfunction when external... Oh no, internal power core is damaged. Unit has minimal combat programming, but can defend itself if necessary. This... I can't read that. Drones, that's what it is. There's a... It's muted. My TV's muted, so like the mute thing's covering it. And my dog's playing with her toy. Nice. Uh, intense heat blast com uh, back battle prowess. Whatever. Don't touch the flamey things. That's what it's trying to say. Eventually, that'll open and you shoot it. Whoops. Easier said than done, evidently. And then he's gonna torch this hive, which I'll unleash to these guys. These are barbed war wasps. I got these confused with the ram war wasps. Make sure you scan both the incinerator drone and the barbed war wasps. This is the only time in the game you can scan either of them. Anyways, you can dodge. Nope. Just kill the barbed war wasps whenever you can, and then wanna just keep an eye on the incinerator drone so that you don't get torched. Just kill the war wasps uh, whenever you're able. And then just keep an eye on the incinerator drone so that you can shoot the thing. That's all there is to this fight. 
Oh, it's not done yet. I thought three hits and you're done. Guess not. I guess you can use missiles. I don't really know if missiles do more damage or not, but I don't really see a point in wasting missiles on the freaking incinerator drone. As this is one of, if not the easiest boss in the game. Incinerator drone defeated. That was easy. <laughs> Torch the heck of that out of that hive. That was ironic. Well, everything is dead now. So mission accomplished, I guess. And here we go, the bombs. Sweet. <laughs> Samus is just like, let's just test one out. Morph ball bombs acquired. Alright. And with that, we also get the spring ball back. Sweet! Now there should be... There's a little passage right here. We can bomb. And go through here. And another missile expansion. Now, you, I'm pretty sure you can get the morph ball bombs before getting the charge beam, but I wouldn't see why you would want to do that, because then you need to spam A at the incinerator drone. Part of me wants to say that it's actually possible to go through this game without getting the charge beam altogether, but, I've, but I want to say that's wrong. I mean, that'd be kind of funny, and that'd be an interesting challenge to see someone take on, but... Oh, no, you... No, you would have to get the charge beam at some point. No. Yeah. You would. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we can kill this dude now, since we have bombs. Yeah, uh, you would need the charge beam at some point. I'm wrong. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, wouldn't that be funny? Here's another research entry. More false slots. I'm not sure if those disappear or not. I want to say they do, but at the same time, I want to say that surely there is some place where they will always appear. Anyways, here's a little here's a little puzzle. I'm gonna put a bomb in here. This lowers the water level. And there's a little noise, so we have a time limit to get to another. Um, uh, jeez, getting disoriented here. We have a time limit in order to get to another morph ball slot. Right there. Okay, that one will raise these platforms. And then we should have a time limit one more time. To get across these platforms and then bomb one last slot. Run, run, run. Right here. Now if you're playing the original version of this game, you don't have spring ball, so you need to use bombs if you want to jump anywhere, which is a little annoying. But, um, eh, not too bad. Or at least I can't imagine it would be too bad, I mean. Anyway, that's it for the time limits. We've now unlocked this room. Yeah, There will be different puzzles like that throughout the game. Very fun stuff. Whoops. Uh, yes, very fun stuff. Uh, right here. Okay. I am blind. Pardon my blindness. Uh, is there anything down this path yet? Yeah, there is. I'm not sure where this leads. Let's check it out. Oh, it just leads back to this room. That's it. Okay. Lame, but no. Well, if I forgot about it, then it couldn't have been a major secret. Played this game enough to where I feel like I have most everything memorized. So yeah, uh, our goal in this game hasn't really been established still. Um, we'll get to that soon enough. But yeah, for the moment being, we're still just trying to recover all of our items. Although the only items we have left now are the various suit and the... Um, grapple beam. You'll, we'll be able to scan these later at the moment. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, just the various suit and the grapple beam. The, those are the only things we have left to get. And, oh, jeez. Energy tank. 
And that's all that's back here, so let's go ahead and get out. Because now we have progress to make. Our goal now is going to be to head back to the room, that really big room that had a tree in it. That's our goal at the moment. There we go. Our goal is also to freaking make shriek bats extinct. <sighs> as amazing as that would be, the Galactic Federation would probably bring them back. Anyways, <laughs> Metroid jokes. Anyways, if you don't feel like dealing with those guys, just take this little tunnel here. Taking the easy way. That is the Mega Celestial way, I guess. Uh, there is a missile expansion up there, however, I don't think... Well, let's just forget about that, why don't we? <laughs> okay, yes. Um, now what we want to do is head back to this room, the Arbor... Arboretum. That's what we want to do. So let's go ahead and go through here. And head on over. Deal with the freaking gas spewing in our faces. Okay, there's gonna be these ruins again. There's gonna be a total of four of these along our path as we climb up here. Now we couldn't climb up here all the way before because of this. Um, there's sandstone blocks right here. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this war wasp hive. And, you know what, let's go ahead and collect those missiles. Why not? Just get that missile. Okay. So previously we couldn't get past here because of these stamps, sandstone blocks. But now that we have the bombs, we can. So yeah, once you get the charge beam and the, and the bombs, you're good to go. You can climb up here. Just make sure you're scanning all these runes, because you probably don't want to descent just because of like one little rune you missed. Here's another thing. They're kind of like the previous, that previous grass you saw, except this one will actually hurt you. I hate war wasps. Anyways, just shoot the path, keep it clear, and oh, or you can. Use bombs to scare them away. Or you can get impatient and do this. That's usually my tactic. Do the way that saves time. Because, yay, impatience. That's a ruined war wasp hive. You don't need to scan those. I'm just leaving this out because... Runes. Because runes. Interesting. I only got two of them. Ha <laughs> hey. Oh crap. I just did the thing that I said you should not do. Okay, well here's one of them. Dang it, where's the other one? I think I know where it is. And if I'm right, it's all the way at the bottom. Well now I hope I'm right since I just made that leap of faith. Yep, here it is. Yay! Now I get to climb all the way back up! Hooray! Alright, great. Uh, what do you say we fast forward this part? Or just cut it? We'll see. We'll see what future me feels like doing. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Whew. Alright. Well, we are approaching a very large room now. I'm gonna shoot that off. Get through some narrow passageways. Shooting. Just spam A. Just spam A and you'll win. It's kind of like Kingdom Hearts, except with the A button instead of the X button. Anyways, 
what it could be behind this door, I wonder. Hmm. Well, it's important enough to where I'm going to end this episode right here. So, in the next episode of Metroid Prime, we are going to head through this door and see what lies beyond. See you guys then. Bye. Oh, my foot fell asleep. <laughs>